my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a few tips on how to completely organize and refresh all of your electronics for the new year because as time goes on, even if we try to keep things organized, things just build up, life happens. So it's important to take an hour just like organizing all of your electronics because these are things that we use every single day and if they're cluttered, it can get hard to work on stuff and keep productivity at its highest. So hopefully these tips help you and let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is tackle all of my messages on my iPhone. My text inbox can get really cluttered really fast. And it's easy for that to happen because maybe a couple group messages will pop up and you only text that group message maybe once or twice. Things get just like pushed down to the bottom and you don't really realize it because as the text messages are coming in, you're just looking at the ones at the top. So what I like to do is just go to the bottom and delete all the ones that I don't need and don't ever need to reference back to, which is a lot. So I would just go all the way down to the bottom, make sure you're deleting all the ones that you don't need. I usually keep the people that I talk to every single day and then I just completely delete the rest, especially if they have no use for me. The second thing I like to do is go into my settings on my phone and turn off all of the notification badges. When you get new apps, sometimes they have the red notification badges on the top right corner and I feel like those completely make your phone look messy. I feel like it one clutters your iPhone and two it might make you go oh I need to check this and clear this notification badge but then like you go on your phone to do one thing and then you're doing something the next. It's just very distracting so I I would personally turn those off. The third one is to make a list of all of the emails that you're getting that you're subscribed to and always like just deleting. You're like, oh, that's whatever, something from a store, deals, blah, blah, blah. I never check these. So I would make a list of all of those and then go through and unsubscribe from every single one. The fourth thing is to clear out all of your unused apps. Because when you get a new phone, you just start accumulating apps without realizing and you go, oh, this app looks helpful. So then you go download it, but then you don't use it. And sometimes you put apps out in the front where it's like really easy to get to but it turns out that you never ever use that app and it doesn't need to be taking up that important real estate on your phone where an app that you use more often could be going so it's important to just delete all the things that you don't need so then you can make room for the apps that you do use every single day and <laughs> tuna and you can make them more accessible hey buddy say hello she wants to play. The next step is to take everything that you have on your laptop and put everything on a hard drive. I'm talking about everything. And during this process, you can go through and delete things that you don't want, but you just want to mainly put all of the things that you absolutely need on your hard drive. For example, I have a computer folder, a main channel folder, a vlog channel folder, a photos folder, and a projects folder. On the computer folder, I have a folder called desktop, documents, and Dropbox. For the desktop, I just put all of the things that are on the desktop that I need to have on the desktop, which is usually nothing. So I put the ones that I'm gonna sort later into the desktop one. Documents is where I keep all of my videos while I'm working on them. So I put all of the important folders in the documents folder in my hard drive. And also Dropbox, things tend to collect on Dropbox too, and that's where I keep a lot of my assets. I went through and deleted all the unnecessary and unwanted files in my Dropbox, and then I put all of the necessary ones on to my hard drive. And I think this is important to do every so often just because you never know when you can accidentally delete a file or a file will go missing, one that's very important. So it's just important anyways to just back up all of this stuff. Even if it's on your computer, you never know what's gonna happen. And then projects. I have two folders in here, one called projects and one called video. And in the projects folder, that's where I do, like if I do a random freelance project, I'll put that in here. And then I also have video projects so if I want to do like a quick one-off video that's not going to be going on my YouTube channel then that would go in this folder so pretty much I just have folders for the most important things YouTube random projects and stuff that need to be on my computer all the time so basically just the assets and because it's a new year and because this hard drive is completely almost filled up I'm deciding to start fresh so I'm labeling this hard drive 2015 to 2017 and I have two new hard drives for beginning of 2018 and until it fills up. The reason why I have two is because it's always good to back up your backup and it is kind of expensive but it's completely worth
worth it because during Christmas time I was working on all of my Jasmine's videos and I was almost done editing all of them and the hard drive that I was using for some reason didn't want to show up on my computer and I had a little miniature heart attack because all probably a hundred plus hours of work was all on that hard drive Leo got it to work but that's when I realized I need to back up my backup so I'm labeling my one from 2017 2015 to 2017 and then this new hard drive that I have and then the blue one is going to be my designated backup so I'll update my hard drive every time I'm done with a video project and every couple months I will make sure all of that new information is backed up on the blue hard drive the next step you can take is to factory reset your laptop this was so beneficial for me because I always tried to back up everything onto my hard drive and delete it off my computer just so that I could continue having lots of space on my laptop but the other section in my storage was just piling up since it was taking up over 75% of my storage on my laptop. Leo decided to help me completely factory reset my laptop and it feels amazing. I feel like I have a brand new laptop even though it is like over two years old. You are good to go. Your laptop is now ready. Almost ready because the last step is to physically clean your electronics. So pretty much just take a cloth or a cleaning product, whatever you like to use, and just wipe down every single surface area on on your laptop pretty much like the top the bottom get in between the keys and the keyboard get into that little space where the vent is because so much dust can collect down there and you don't clean it all the time you don't realize once you physically clean your whole entire laptop you're gonna feel even more refreshed and it's gonna literally feel like a brand new laptop so that is pretty much it that is how I organize and completely refresh all of my electronics after doing this I feel so good and I just want to get work done so hopefully if you take these tips into consideration they help you out too and just make you feel really refreshed with all your electronics for the new year so yes I hope you enjoyed please let me know if you have any more video requests because I would love to hear from you I'm still planning new videos for the new year if you've liked and subscribed and all of that thank you so much I really appreciate it if you want to see what I'm doing every single week you can head over to my vlog channel where I'm vlogging every single day and then uploading that at the end of every week thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time Bye!